For tip number three, we're talking about brake calipers and four signs that you need to recognize when a caliper needs to be replaced. Next. This video is sponsored by NAPA, your trusted name in automotive parts and accessories. Visit NAPAonline.com for more information. Anybody can throw a brand new set of pads on a vehicle, but it takes a real technician to understand the signs of when you need to replace the brake caliper. The number one sign, well, it's uneven brake pad wear. If the brake pads are not allowed to move in the bracket or the caliper itself cannot equalize the force between the two pads, it's a sign that something's hanging up inside the caliper or some of the hardware is corroded. Anytime the dust boot is damaged on the caliper, well, you need to replace that caliper because when this boot has a rip in it or tear, water and debris can get to the piston, cause corrosion to not only the piston, but the bore itself. This can cause a piston to hang and possibly leak. This can cause a hydraulic failure of the system and a possible accident. Number three, well, I'm sure this has happened to everybody out there. You run into a situation where a caliper guide pin cannot be removed from the caliper bracket itself. This causes for a lot of consternation with a lot of technicians, but it is a sign that corrosion has entered into the caliper bracket and also the platings on the guide pin itself have broken down. By just looping it up and putting it back in there, well, chances are corrosion is going to come back. This is why you need to install a new caliper. Number four, well, this is kind of a bonus tip. Anytime you're replacing a caliper, look at the brake hose. Chances are, if the caliper sees, it's generated a lot of heat, and that heat could damage the brake hose. So for maybe $10, $20, replacing that brake hose is very cheap insurance. So there you have it, four tips about recognizing the signs of a brake caliper that's gone bad and what to do about it. But kind of the neat thing with some calipers out there, they have this nice protective coating that looks nice behind a wheel. And this way you're getting rid of a rusty caliper that may not look so great. Stay tuned for tip number four, where we're gonna discuss fleet brakes and fleet applications. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.